chaga chaga choo choo What's up guys? AK with DCC Train LLC Mall Chain Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. You are on my live channel, our channel, mostly broadcasting uh, will be done by me because we're doing a lot of broadcasts uh, from uh, store. <clears throat> so I come back from my uh, business trip with my full-time job from Australia, so I'm kind of <laughs> still recovering, but a lot of questions um, I still don't understand the re really p purpose of it, but I'm just doing it. All right, I'm connecting. We're going to the top camera. I'm connecting Zephyr with um, LNWI. Now I remember um, as a wireless server. Pretty much, if I can call it, I think it's. Uh, I think I think it's good. Actually, they call me maybe a little bit different. Uh, local net Wi-Fi interface. Yes, it is. To the uh, ESU mobile control too. Now, the reason. The reason, maybe a lot of questions, I'm thinking uh, modelers try to, I, that's a, it's, a, it's only a guess, to replace this or add uh, ECOS, I'm sorry, not ECOS, <laughs> mobile control, kind of to, to the integrated to the system, okay? So, about two years ago, I didn't do the video. I did test it. When I got Mobile Control 2, I think the Model Train Society kind of uh, start interesting about it because uh, ESU just released, and we have it, of course, and I did video about that, the, the cap control system which is mobile control part of it okay mobile control 2 because it's it, it's a different model than the previous one a long time ago all right so it's supposed to be here the other one is charging this is just straight um, uh, mobile control 2 okay so what i did i connected it with gmri because it's an Android based operating system. Okay. This is 411. I download GMRI and we'll do it step by step pretty much. If you wanna if you wanna see it, maybe it will work for you. I'm just showing how I'm doing it. And uh, all connected, but it was through the GMRI server. Uh, emulation on the, on the JMRI uh, computer software installed in the computer actually okay this is completely different ball game that uh, LNWI Digitrax has a wireless built in so for example um, that system connects straight to uh, that's uh, white throttle Connect straight to the computer to that local net Wi-Fi interface. I beg your pardon. All right, but let's check to switch to the top camera and finish it real quick. So you can try it. There is something. Uh, uh, th there is simple enough. So see my Wi-Fi I icon. I try to be as close as possible. Right now, maybe there is a different way. So this is my Wi-Fi, and right now it's um, connect to that Digitrax and that's LN server. Yeah, it's it's a pretty much server. Uh, that's the serial number. You can check it in the manual. All right, but it connects without any passwords. 
But before you need to connect to your wireless network, in whatever, to get internet, okay? And I'm using stylus, just easy to, to show. You can use the finger. <clears throat> so then before, before uh, that connection established to uh, LNWI, all right, you need to download uh, engine driver. I'm not using this much. I'm using uh, this. I'm using white throttle, okay? <clears throat> Actually, I'm using Rocco <laughs> more. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so not, now we got that. It's it it's just installation of app. It's not big deal absolutely. We're not going to waste time. Um, so and you connect to <clears throat> the interface and you just start that thing. Okay, it's connecting right now. Uh, connecting right now. Then you press to select, select to press or whatever. Uh, address three. That's the locomotive right now. Okay, and I'm going to steal it from command station. There's some compatibility issue, okay, but it's work, working kind of partially. So if I press 8, it start um, the engine because I muted before. All right. Horn. Bell. Let's just wait till uh, its sequence, uh, starting sequence, sequence will be over. Okay. Now I can run it. You might mention uh, some signal here, like coming through indicator in red. That looks to me. So I'm controlling it, speeding up. And of course, I'm turning uh, lights with uh, zero and six for ditch lights. And when I blow the horn, those lights alternating, ditch lights. Okay. Now, if I'm going to take control with this or digital system right now, there is no feedback. So I'm running it slowly right now. Okay. It's some glitches already starting. Uh, another thing that is not controlling. Or maybe it's probably just this, this lost the power. But this, this feature is not working. This this working only when you connect it to ESU uh, command system that cap control or um, ECOS. Okay. Now, if I'm going to do like this, the speed will be very slow, right? Because it's on break right now. See what's happened. It's not turning in reverse. It's now turning to reverse. But no indication here. Okay. You can control functions. But indicator still at 20 and it's not showing anything here. Okay. <clears throat> Still connected. Uh, and I still operating it, right? Or you can use that bar. Right? But again, uh, the Zephyr is just not give, give, not gonna give me any feedback. I just 
Right. In direction, I need a change here, reverse. See, the lights will be changing as well. Okay. Now, I just want to do a short experiment. If I can take control, so if I'm uh, using GMRI, I'm sorry, I'm using white throttle because it's a Apple device. So we cool here, power tracks good. I select my engine. Now it's asking, would you like to um, acquire this address? Yes. So I'm taking that address. That's bell. So everything functioning. See what's happened here. If I'm using this and I press uh, horn, and uh, three for couplers, everything working, right? Let's see. That guy lost because I steal it from here now. If I press again to select locomotive, take my three back, take it, see, that completely um, lost the locomotive, so it's not selected. It's selected right here. So I need to turn the lights back, all right. And I, can, I hope I can operate. Unfortunately, reverse or forward. Turn this down. Select reverse or select forward. Yeah, that thing is pressed to select. I think I did. One more time. So releasing, press to select, selecting that and another glitch okay so the bottom line let's just uh, turn the power all right the bottom line i still don't understand the purpose of the question but guys you asked me to connect that's what i did okay so this is supposed to be working it's working kind of with the digitrax through that unit interface is you making low connect um, kind of adapter but I, I don't know much about it I don't have it yet so this is part of ESU all right and my personal opinion that's the best uh, app to control uh, using any Apple product um, devices with the Digitrax and that great unit LNWI okay so I hope it, it clears a little bit but it, we're talking about like different um, different protocols and, and different operating system but because internal um, uh, ESU it's complete uh, internal ESU protocol completely different all right guys hopefully it clears something for you again uh, I can do more tests, but uh, uh, when actually I connect, the, I'm not showing it to you because it completely messes up everything. When I connect that to uh, Zephyr, all right, it was just start messing around. Stick with one system, not with decoders. Decoders inter interchangeable. I don't mind to. To use mix of decoders it's a little bit harder for matching the speed steps but usually it's not a problem but different peripheral devices it's you, you just saw it all right thanks for coming uh, we'll do more streams complicated installations live streams here like f f for a couple of hours come back please all right um, 
today, yeah, I will do probably uh, one or two installations before Christmas, all right? But if you are uh, not seeing you um, uh, during those, those installations, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sorry, jet lag, 16 hours different. Thanks for coming again. Have a good one. Bye. Chaga, chaga, choo, choo.